Alright, assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to Bonk video update today and uh, Bitcoin has been a little bit better at the moment and uh, we're still at $45,000 even though uh, the bearish divergence keeps on climbing up and up which is still a concern to me. So I want to talk about probably the 4 hour time frame and uh, let's see if there's anything on the 4 hour time frame that is relatively important. Now you see uh, yesterday I gave you this little bit of a uh, you know pattern here where you have a move down like this you broke to the downside actually and you came to the upside i kind of think that we already have our answer with this one little bit of a candle so if i do zoom in there you can see that you have a shooting star so this shooting star on the four hour time frame is basically a reversal candle to the downside now if i have to simplify the pattern for you it is something like uh, a move down with the support resistance support resistance breakdown move up unfortunately even though you went and pump inside the triangle you can actually see that this is a spinning top right there which is not a good sign unless we don't get above 110,198 if you kind of come up here and take this out and retest you have a very good chance of actually pumping up. Can it happen? It can happen, okay? It can happen. I cannot say that it's not going to go up. It can actually happen. And there are some, you know, bullish divergence. I do see that can actually push it up there. But unless it doesn't really happen, then this uh, shooting star can actually be a problem, which is that in the next 3 hours, 51 minutes, this is the 4-hour time frame right now, and in the next 3 hours, 50, uh, you know, uh 50 50 minutes actually if you start to go down like this then these three candles are going to be evening star and then from there you actually continue to move even way more lower and potentially come down to this technical target so you may actually see this as a risk of nearly 4.36 percent and you have a 33 percent move down right i think Trying out a 4% risk is actually pretty good. I mean, if you have uh, almost like $500 and you want to trade with $200, uh, that's going to be a loss of $8 out of $500, which, is, which I think is not a very big deal. And uh, on the other side of it, you know, you have 33% outside uh, of, this, of this coin at the moment. So that's it for the video. Hope this one helps you. If you like the idea, do like the video. And I'm going to see you the next one. I love this.